Hi beautiful Gemini's. Welcome back everybody. Hope you're doing fabulous today Gemini. Thank you so much for being here. Everyone, thank you so much for liking the videos, for subscribing. Welcome to you new subscribers. You're always welcome and I thank you so much and I really appreciate all of your contributions. Know that Gemini. The word wants to be written. You could have be collaboratively dreaming, having visions of life beyond death. Follow your own rhythm. The word wants to be written. Maybe you're supposed to write down your dreams. Maybe you're having prophetic dreams. There's a lot of tears, a lot of sadness here. Maybe you're supposed to write this down, Gemini. Gemini. Enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. Convey your meaning. Reflect on the way that you communicate with others and with yourself and be sure to express thoughts and feelings from your heart with respect and sincerity because you want to say something here Gemini break free from whatever you feel is holding you back express happiness find out what you truly desire and empower yourself Tune in to your personal power. You're more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be strong, the beautiful person that you're capable of being, Gemini. What's going on? It's about communication and the way that you're communicating with yourself or with others. Someone's pride getting in the way here. You might be a musician or communicate through music. You could be a songwriter or a singer. Follow your intuition. Self-love and abundance. Follow your dreams, Gemini. You've had to surrender something. This is a karmic completion. Letting go. This was a karmic situation. Or is. The word wants to be written. You want to say something, Gemini. Or someone wants to say something to you. It's about communication and the way somebody is communicating. Gemini. I'm using the muse here today, which I never hardly use. And I was told specifically to use this deck. So I will do so, Gemini. Ooh. Is this... A betrayal or is this negative speech negative communication hurtful words being spoke awful lot of swords could be immature communication yeah it's all swords here Gemini 
five of voices, ten of voices, knight of voices, which are swords. Somebody might be, it could be to do with finance here, and or a commitment. Somebody is heavily burdened. Again, another sort. It's immature communication. Something unfair, unjust. Could be to do with money or materialism. Someone is like this high priestess is abundant as hell. There is a high priestess here who is abundant as hell. Why is there Somebody wants to break free and go toward their high priestess. Learning a lesson. This is a mentor. This is teaching and learning. This is someone who they're passionate about. This is wish fulfillment. This is somebody's world. But they gotta break somebody else's heart in order to have it. Oh geez, so somebody may, this is a star. This is Oh, Jesus. Sword, 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 swords, Gemini. Cutting words, making someone using their words to make someone else feel small. Uh, this is an illusion. This is... Somebody making accusations based on emotions, night of materials, two voices, causing somebody some kind of illusion or indecision, regret. So three people getting together. This is collaborating to talk shit about a star. Immature. I don't like the energy.
rebound. So somebody went and got into a relationship on the rebound. And they want to break free. It's a karmic completion. It's time to go. You're not meant to stay in karmic relationships. Just saying. What's going on here, Gemini? They may have committed and married this karmic. But it's a burden. This lover is a burden. And they know they're meant to walk away. They're supposed to. They're inspired to walk away. Now this could be more of like they did something foolish. And now they're de depressed that something is over. And they may have made an offer thinking that this would be make them happy. They were juggling, but is making a decision and because they felt rejected or something like that they think that it was unfair they got themselves where they are they got themselves stuck and now they're angry so they might have been doing something out of haste hasty doing something hasty without thinking something through just taking action thinking that this was going to make them happy so thinking that maybe if this will make them happy so they could have uh, been married or in a family situation but their empress is over here They should have taken their time. You know what I mean? But they want... Yeah, so... They did something abrupt. They did something that got them trapped. This was their blessing, but they went looking for a new opportunity. Got themselves trapped. Now they're stuck here but they're in love with this temperance angel this empress energy they were juggling while they were at work and they're spying on this single person who they betrayed and now they've found out some kind of truth and clarity. Or somebody could have made up some kind of lies, said that this empress was cheating on them when they were at work, and it's a lie. It's a betrayal. It's falsehood. It's listening to gossip, rumor, doing something so immature, just like assuming and presuming that this empress was guilty of something, they should have defended them. They should have, instead, they avoided telling them the truth, what they were, the secrets that they had. They were hurt, hurting them, okay? Blocked them, selfishly. Now they're stressed the hell out because they've gotten some kind of truth or clarity about this high priestess. Now they're in regret that they were in their pride and their ego, manipulating or being manipulated by the devil. <laughs> they married the devil. That's a karmic completion. They were meant to go to this karmic to learn a lesson and then change. But they married the third party. <laughs> They're wasting their time because headed straight to the five pentacles.
playing around. Just now they're they're sitting here. Hang on. Sorry, Gemini, I had to take that call. I'm having a tractor delivered, so I had to take the call. Okay, so somebody sat here, held back, or is still holding on to collaborative dreaming. So this fucker, Jesus Christ, these people piss me off. I'm sorry, Gemini. Now that you are getting a lot of attention, you might have become a star or something like that. Now it's like they want, now that they're hurting, so there's some jealousy of this partnership. Jealous that you're abundant and stable. Jealous that they picked the wrong choice. Okay? So now it's like they want to start a new beginning. They want to communicate. Okay? Oh, it looks like... There's some kind of argument or fight about money, about stability. And now that you are getting all this abundance, this person wants to come back in and partner with you. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. But I want to know why. Is it because of just abundance or is it because of love why does this person want to come back in why does this person want to come toward the empress why what's the real motivator what's motivating this person to come toward the high priestess now the empress why does this person want to come back now because they're fucking broke That's why, because they're stuck in, a, in some kind of commitment. They might have been rejected. I don't know. They want to come toward the single high priestess. Oh, well, they're saying love. That's They want a, a friendship, but it's more than a friendship. They want love. They think you're their soulmate, but they're in this energy. Seven of Swords, jealous. Oh, this other energy they're with is jealous. What is hid comes to light. So this person... Getting the truth. Ooh. So they're at war. They're sorry how things ended. Promising to work on something. Their ego or something like that. They blocked the Empress. I don't think Spirit's letting them come back in. Collaborating. Working on a plan to end things with the karmic. Heavily burdened fighting and arguing about who's going to pay for what with the karmic. What money? Trying to protect their money. <laughs> Trying 
chat. It's going to end in this person's going to walk away anyway. I mean, just saying. They're just waiting to leave. It's a tower. They're like, hurry up and get things over with so I can get to where I want to get. They're pissed off that... So, they might have been put in a third party. <laughs> oh my god. Because you have changed, because you've gotten all this wealth, because you've gotten all this stability, now they want to, like, come toward you. Oh. I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. This person does love. There is love here. Okay? There is. Absolutely is. But it's more that they don't want anybody else to want you. They don't want anybody else to get you because they know you're the catch. This karmic is full of shit. They've been lying their face off the whole time. And it is going to end in a tower. That's what it's saying. So there's a bunch of fighting and arguing and hurtful words being spoken. Telling Gemini to follow their dreams, love yourself, and that is where you will be abundant. Enjoy the journey. Convey your meaning. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. This person could be holding you back from your happiness, Gemini. Take care.